Oh, maybe the dose four times a day, maybe taking two to three grams four times a day. To start? To start. And now don't worry about meals. But now this, I think the most effective form is ascorbic acid. And then this gets complicated if a person has ulcers. Well, the, 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 this is what I call the ascorbate effect. I find is more effective with ascorbic acid orally. Now we can get the ascorbate effect with sodium ascorbate intravenously, but I find that sodium ascorbate orally is not quite as powerful as ascorbic acid by mouth. Now, if you can't take ascorbic acid, like if you have an ulcer, it's like it's like, like that. If I slap myself, that doesn't hurt, but if I had a sunburn, it would. So ascorbic acid on an ulcer may hurt. Uh, it may heal the ulcer after a while, but at first it might hurt. So then what we do, we sort of baby people into taking it by maybe 50-50 mix of ascorbic acid and sodium ascorbate, or even use other types of buffered vitamin C to build up. Now magnesium ascorbate is a great way to get magnesium in, but remember that magnesium is a laxative, so that that doesn't count as far as the diarrhea is concerned if you're taking magnesium ascorbate. So that Everything that I've been saying about titrating to bowel tolerance has been based upon the taking of ascorbic acid. Uh, now, the intravenous, since you can't take ascorbic acid by vein, uh, you need sodium ascorbate. Uh, and, but see, we figure that only about a seventh of the ascorbic acid that we take by mouth ever gets into the bloodstream, whereas 100% of the sodium ascorbate that we take by vein, by definition, gets in the veins. So that we find that even though the sodium ascorbate is only about half as strong as the ascorbic acid, seven times as much gets in the body. So it's about three and a half times more powerful. So the doses of, of sodium ascorbate when we treat a disease by vein, uh, like say if you have a, a 100 gram cold, that is a gram that would allow you to take 100 grams of, of ascorbic acid by mouth, uh, probably oh, 40, 50 grams by vein would do it. But the thing is, since there's absolutely no side reaction to, to sodium ascorbate by vein, uh, we found that uh, we just put 60 grams inside of a, a 500 cc bottle of lactated ringers, and we give one or two bottles, so 60 to 120 grams. And, uh, so I, I, it's not a big deal as to how much it takes because we can overshoot with complete harmlessness, you see. I mean, people just do not have a bad effect from sodium ascorbate by vein. So rather than risk uh, not giving enough, we give too much. And uh, the other thing, with a very serious disease, you would give the sodium ascorbate intravenously as fast as and as much as necessary to break the fever, to break the, the symptoms, you see. So that even though I haven't treated something like Ebola, uh, if somebody had Ebola, I would be giving them intravenous vitamin C, maybe 180 grams uh, a day, or maybe 300 grams a day, I don't know. Uh, it, whatever it took, at whatever rate it, it took to, to break the temperature, to break the fever.